Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. We are fixing some chicken fajitas from the rest of that chicken, which we've made about 110 meals out of. <laughs> Not exactly. No. But about four. We had this same chicken cooked when we done the um, crescent rolls. We had this. Just one little pack. I know. We've done dumpling. Might we've done good with this pack of chicken. It was a big press, though. So this is just on low. This has a one, two, three, four, five setting, but this is the number one, and it's staying good and hot. This is just extra virgin olive oil, just putting that in there to give it a little bit of a, give it a little bit of oil. And this is just some freshly chopped up, frozen out of a bag. Pepper mixed onion. vegetables that we get at the save a lot peppers Pepper and onions. onions. I like to use these in fajitas because they're already done and they're frozen and they have a good taste to them. Nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna turn that just a little bit more. This is just some fajita blend that I throw in here myself. A little bit of cumin, a little bit of chili powder, a little bit, just a little bit of taco seasoning. But primarily, it's just a blend of seasonings. And I'm not going to even put all this. I'll put that in a Tupperware thing. And this is, of course, William Perrin Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going to put a dash dash of that over the top. Just like that. Probably a teaspoon total. Folks, you better watch quick because this is a quick and easy meal once you get that chicken fixed. This is some teriyaki. Now, I don't want teriyaki chicken fajitas. I just want a little bit of a flavor. Just a little, not a lot, okay? Can we all agree that just because you add it to it don't mean it's gonna be 100% like that? Boy, I tell you what, they don't want you in here. <laughs> Am I gonna have to dirty a knife just to open it? Right here, so long like that. Just to open the teriyaki sauce. It's the truth, folks. I can't you get it open. Over there? If you don't care, ma'am. But I can come over there and get it in just a second. I'm just a cook. It got up here to 4.30 and we're on a Saturday. We haven't had lunch or supper or whew, mercy. I had an egg sandwich this morning. Uh, Mama had rice for breakfast. I said, I'll fix my own, Mama. <laughs> Leftover rice to Um, I wasn't in the mood for rice for breakfast. So I had an egg sandwich. And we got busy. We got to work. If you don't have time for a real meal, like a bunch of sides and all that, this is something to keep in your file of quick and easy. This is a weeknight meal, a Saturday evening meal when you don't want to cook. Go for this. So I'm just going to put... One on. This is just um, food club teriyaki sauce. And I'm just going to put a little flavor flavor in there. And I know it looked like a lot, but I promise you, if you measured it out and took the time to fill with it, it would be about a teaspoon. And that's, that's the the most of it right there. This is those real bacon bits that mom pretends like she don't like, but she you loves. Use some real bacon or just gonna use I'm just gonna use this, mom. Just to aggravate you, if nothing else. Oh, I reckon. She will eat them fried, she'll eat them cooked. She just don't like them on a salad. We've discovered, we, out of trial and error, didn't we, mom? Yeah. She says, I like them in that, I don't like them in that. I said, well, you don't like them without them being cooked. Now that's not even going to be enough in that pack to really matter a great deal. All that's going to be enough is just to give it a slight bacon -y flavor. So that's it, folks. Now I'm going to put the lid, oh, right here it is. I'm going to put the lid on here. Let that steam a minute. Let that all get in there and get to know each other. That's all we're looking for. Mom, that coffee is, look at that. So, so that's, that's, oh, that's Mama taking care of me the right way. Get me hot coffee. To be honest with you, that pot's been sitting on there for about an hour. An hour, and I'm still... Uh, unless we think it needs flavor.
flag up flag in a little while. Wow, huh? Mama's like, let me hurry and get out of this stuff put up. Look at that beautiful stain. It was good for my glasses. Now still, I've never taken it off that between the one and the two there. So it's just low. Right here is where it is, so it's just barely on the two. That's what you're looking for. Now, I didn't put any salt or anything in there because that Liam Parents is going to have some salty. That uh, uh, fajita, that uh, teriyaki had a little salty. And this has got a bunch of spices that I just kind of put a dash dash in there and let it mix up. So, all this, I want that to steam a minute. And we're ready to eat. Now, this is what we're eating it on today. Uh, these are just the single little fajita things. Mama's got to have that sour cream. And there's your cheese, Mama. You're ready to go. Oh, we got brand new sour cream. Look at here. I like to give it a shake, shake, shake before I open them. Because y'all know what's going to be underneath there. Water. But see, give it that good shake, shake, and not so much. See, it's a good thing. I'll stir this up good. Get it all incorporated. All right. Now, I'm thinking this is done that quick, folks. We didn't mess around with it. But uh, what I'm going to do, this is another little sideline for you. This is just another little, oh, hadn't thought of that. That's a, that'll work. I'm going to lay these right here. This is clean, come out of our cabinets, and we washed it. But that's going to steam our little uh, small, I don't even know, de burial, fresh and soft. I bought them, they're 12 flour tortillas. I bought them because they are what they say, fresh and soft. They were so soft at the store, I thought that would be perfect. So I'm not gonna get a skillet out to do this one lamb right there. That's just a little hack. You can just, they're already warm. They're already warm. And uh, this is cut off. So we're ready to eat. That quick, that's what you want. That's what you want when you've taken the kids to ball practice and you're rushing home and your family's home and they're hungry and you're thinking, hmm, let's just throw out some fajitas right quick. All right, Mama, you ready? Okay. Was that too fast for you? I'm rushing to get the plates and the napkins and everything, sir. Well, come right up here and have you a seat. I've got your food ready. Lickety you're, split. You're, you're lickety fast. This don't take long, and it's quick, it's easy, and it's good, and it's filling. You can't beat that combo, Mama, and those are as hot and soft as you could ask for. You can turn them over to let the bottom edge get a little steamy hot. That was really get steamy on that over there because that little vent hole is over there. Are you ready, Mama? Oh, yeah. You're drinking. I've got hot piping coffee that you just brought me. Well, I'm going to. Thank you, Mama. I've still got a little bit left in here, so. I really had my cup over there. I was going to get coffee before I come over here and started. And, well, my mind don't work like that always. It works in rounds, but not always around right circles. <laughs> Let's bless it, Mama, and then it'll be ready for us to go. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for the many, many blessings that you've given us, dear Lord. We thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace, dear Lord. And that we have all of our friends gathered here today, and we just pray for their needs, dear Lord, and all the prayer requests spoken and unspoken, dear Lord, alike. Watch over us, lead and guide and direct us, and everything that we do in your precious name we pray. And I saw these things. Amen. Your steam's up. My steam is getting steamy. It's standing right in my face. Oh, Mom, that's, that's a I good steam. Now, Mom, I think you need to. I don't think I can. I think you can. One is not going to be near enough because you don't put much in them. Uh, there they are, folks. That's supper. Now, just because we're fancy. And we always eat fancy. Y'all know that. We're going to put a little parsley. That's just going to be for your eyes. And it will bring out a little flavor. But don't make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you want salsa, green onions would be pretty. If you'd hurry and grow me some. If you want salsa or you want taco season sauce on it, mm, can't go wrong with that combo either. I've got taco sauce right up here. Do you want it? So this is just some good vegetables and some good chicken. It's early enough, I hope this don't bother mama. That thermostat just kicked back in. That's when you get that fry, sizzle, sizzle. These are a good go-to, like I say, for any night of the week or any day that you just don't want to be in the kitchen all night. You, cooking it is just half of the journey. You've got to, um, I got all red peppers in this one, none in this one, look at that. Um, How did you manage that? You've got to clean up. You've got to wash pots and pans. This is going to be two plates, two forks, and this thing right here. And we're going to call that Here's a clean up. Oh, Mama, you got the whole buffet out of it. Salsa and taco, whichever one you want. We all know Mama's going to have sour cream. Yeah, and a little cheese. And Mama's going to have a little cheese. I'm going to squash she's not looking. I'm gonna sneak a little bit more. No, here. don't give me no more. That's what she'll holler. Before she gets back over here with the plant. I won't eat all. I won't eat but one of those. I'm gonna put it right there. We'll wrap it up and save it for some other time, Mama. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want you like this taco sauce, don't you? Yeah, just a little on that one. Don't put it on this one. You don't like that one over there? No, I don't. Why? You don't like the way it looks? You don't like it? I want some cheese. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll let you do your cheese. Uh, you got the right one now. Mexican family. And I'm going to reach right under here and unplug you because you threw cooking. Ooh, it's cooking more. You threw cooking now. really enjoyed our little electric skillet. At first I was afraid it might be too shallow. I didn't know that I was going to like it, but uh, it's not been, it's not been bad at all. And we cooked everything we wanted and had plenty of room for everything. And it's a good thing it's little because it, uh, we can't over, way over cooking. <laughs> we no, we do, our, we do our best not to. And we're trying to do better with that folks. When you cook every night like we do, it doesn't take long to get quite a bit of, of little leftovers piled up. Doesn't mama. Now look folks, that's as good as downtown. That, in fact, that would set you way back downtown. Mama, you didn't roll it good. Shall I roll it for you? I got it cooked in the bottom now, right? Yeah, let me roll it for you. No, that's what I'm done <laughs> If anyone needs someone to work at the taco place, I have a referral. <coughs> I put mine in there and then I'll pull it up like this, tuck it. And then I'll pull the bottom up like this and roll it. A little bit. I'm not a professional either. Well, now, I think mine looks good. Perfect. Well, yours is looking good. Yeah, I think it looks good. <laughs> I was just trying to... I was just trying to help you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I have ordered these out before and they wasn't that good. I had too many to ask them. But now I have ordered them and they were better. So I'm not saying these are the world's best. I'm just saying these are good for supper, for any night, for any time. They're just good. Mm-hmm. You got your apron on. Mm. That big piece of onion I can't get ready to come out. It's still good though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The little vegetables are onions and peppers. And I get those at the save a lot. Mama does too. But we get those, we keep them in the freezer, and we just wrap them up. 
and they're perfect if you want an omelet quick fajitas just add a pepper and, and you can you can chop them and all I ever do to them I get a handful of them out put them in a colander put hot water over them put them on my cutting board and do what I want to with them then throw them in the dish I'm using tonight I didn't even do that we put them in the colander we set them over here and I throw them in there as is and they're so good so find your store and get the frozen onions and peppers usually there are red peppers and green peppers and red peppers and, and yellow peppers usually mm -hmm. and the onions is in there already yeah the onions are in there and they're good you use a lot of it for mm -hmm. what is it oh omelets mm -hmm. of the morning omelets or just like this or even a casserole quick and easy mama we need more of this I don't want this is more in the pantry. This is our Savlot brand of it, and it's just uh, taco sauce. Mild. Mild. I get mild. If it's hot, I'd say you picked it there up. There ain't none in there. I get mild too, because I know that's what you Let like. Me to. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, don't get up. Safe. Don't get up. I don't want it. I don't want it. Sit down. We might need it. We don't need it. No. How does... I'll get it. You're quick at dinner. I'll pick or something. Independent is a hog on us. You can't tell her nothing. We won't even use it when she gets it because we're through. There's a drop or two left in that. I was really just draining it so it wouldn't be wasted. That's why she's lived her whole life. Her whole life. Is she's, I've never sat down with her more since we started doing these videos than ever that she didn't jump up and run. Jump up like a jackrabbit all the time. Or a butterfly. She's more of a butterfly, isn't she? That's mama. I bet you there's some of y'all out there somewhere. Everything does it. You know, she's stressed. Come on back, mama. Well, I said I felt everything does it. You must have looked at the cocktail sauce on sale. There's two of them in there. Or picked it up. I just sale. picked it up extra. Uh, Hello, John and Mama. How are you all today? Looks good. We're doing great, Brenda. We're doing great. I'm gonna bring y'all down and read. Just you, I can read. She wants to play Zoretta. I reckon she does. One big ear. What's that mean, Terry? I buy onions and peppers and dice them. And for, oh, you can, Vicky. Yeah, we've done that before, too. Well, I have peppers in the garden. I do it a lot. Uh, we call it, you flash freeze them in a, we chop them up, put them in a, on a cookie sheet, flash freeze them, separate them out, put them in freezer safe baggies, put them back in there, and they're wonderful. But if you got a garden, that's the thing to do. Or if you run across a sale of a bunch of fresh vegetables. But, winter, I buy them winter, summer, and I'll always keep a bag of them in there. In fact, that's the reason I just told her to add because I need another bag of them because I always keep them because they're so quick and easy. It's like we always have uh, cans of pork and beans, Van Camp pork and beans, because you never know when you need baked beans or if you just want to open a can of pork and beans. We always keep canned corn, canned peas, um, canned pinto beans, just as staples. We're kidney beans. We're kidney not. beans. There's hardly ever been a time in our in my life that there wasn't at least one can of those in there. Salmon fruit cocktail. We eat the last can of fruit cocktail of the day at lunch, I think. Did you put it on the list? No, I didn't. Didn't think of it. Made taco sauce on this now. Did I not add it? I don't know. I don't think so. See, it ain't even draining down. It's about empty. So I think we've done our job with that one. We got our money's worth out of that job. <laughs> we did. We did. We like that. We like it a lot. There's sauce that you can put on it. Well, I'm, I was fine. 
I didn't even need no more. I was just, instead of wasting it, I was just trying to get it to drain down. But there ain't nothing in it to waste now. It's just what it is. I'm gonna roll this up. So what are y'all eating today? Mm. I froze y'all up sometime. Our service is much better. I'm up to three full bars. Yummy, delicious. We're having homemade steak. Ooh, that sounds good. Is that Ursula? Ursula, that sounds good. Hey, Cindy. Hey, John and Mama. I made the maple pork chops oh. this week. My whole family really enjoyed them. Thanks for the recipe. Patsy, right. they are so good. Try that balsamic that we did with the pork tenderloin. It's good too. Oh, it was so good. And I, I, I ate it the next morning for breakfast with the balsamic and it was still good. Mama said, are you eating balsamic for breakfast? And you like that maple. I ate the, the maple morning. the next <laughs> I was worried about you. <laughs> None of it went to waste, did it? <laughs> Y'all ate it. No, nothing went to waste. Poor old Abby didn't get a Bible, none of it. <laughs> Million dollar chicken dinner for tonight. New recipe for us. Sometimes you have to try new things. That's right, Gloria. What's the million dollar chicken? Is that on Pinterest or somewhere? And grab it. Maybe chicken not. enchiladas. Is that what this is called? I thought they were for haters. Patricia, I don't know. I don't know all the names of them. Baked ham, potatoes, turnips, and carrots. We're going to have that for mom. Mama's done talking about she got those. I'm going to try the sweet potato things at Pam and Joe. Miss Pam and Joe sent us some sweet potato casseroles, little things. And so mom was wanting to try that with some ham. Homemade fried rice. Oh, that sounds good. That would be good with this. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it would be. Huh? Ice cold. I could have made a that brown rice or whatever it is in there. Oh, dear. I don't, I don't even know what you're saying on that one. We are having leftover chicken piccata and fettuccine. Well, that all sounds good too. Chuck roast with potatoes, carrots, and oh. onions. Stephanie, that's one of our favorites. I love roast, but I like the mashed potatoes and stuff instead. Your bow jingles fish sandwich ain't good, Tammy. Oh. We had a little snow today, just a little. A little sweet. I think it was just a minute or two worth of bad weather. I just happened to be sitting on the sun porch and looked out the window and I thought, wow, it's snowing. And within a few, maybe just a minute, it was gone. Look what Mr. Marvin did. Well, Mama, how did you mess up an apron? Well, them onions and sour cream and everything fell right down on it. I thought that one was your one that didn't stain. I guess I'll add stuff in it and, and put <laughs> sour cream. It will stay. <laughs> <laughs> Have to be washed. We washed them out there. Uh, we went to Texas. Oh, Brenda, I can't say that out loud. Oh, I heard it. Oh, I heard it. Brenda's been to the Texas Roadhouse, everybody. Oh, you had the pork chops? Are they good? I don't try nothing new. Mama has a ribeye back potato in the salad ranch. Loaded back potato. We are having ham and grilled cheese sandwiches. Now, we used to have those a lot. That was a treat for me as a kid. Mama would make hamburger buns. She'd take hamburger buns and put ham and cheese and whatever in it and wrap them in aluminum foil them back in the oven. And I thought that was the biggest deal ever because we always had food food. <laughs> I mean, it was ever nuts, you know. And for a kid, mm -hmm. to get a ham sandwich and a lemon full, 
That was a big deal when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I thought we was having something different. My big deal when I was a kid was uh, when Mommy would do wash days, we'd get a sandwich, a bologna sandwich sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that was a big deal to me. <laughs> I should be washing all day. Well, the, cook. there used to be a little place up here, a little deli grocery store. And they made steamed hoagies and they had oh, a pickle boy. in them. It's called Jerry's. And we'd go for a treat. On, on the day we mowed the yard, and on Saturdays, either one of those days, not every time, we'd go up Jerry's and get a steamed hoagie. Daddy would run up there and get them for us. And so I guess that was Mama's version of the ham and the cheese, and she'd put salad dressing on it and bake them. You put the salad dressing before you bake them, didn't you? On yours, I didn't mind. Oh, okay. And then she'd bake them in the oven. Oh, they were so good. That's when I learned to eat dill pickles. I never would eat dill pickles until we got those. Oh, those hoagies. Hoagies with a dill pickle, and I'd the eat my pickle. Oh, it was so good. It's little things like that that you do all the time. Don't even think about it. It's just a convenience. And then when it's gone, you spend the rest of your life remembering how good it was. And you'll hear people say, oh, I got one of those hoagies so-and-so, but it didn't come up to that one. No, that's the, <laughs> the benchmark. I made your brown sugar balsamic glaze, too. Oh, boy. We love it. Thank you, John and Mama. Lisa, Very good. Carson is so good. That is the best thing. Don't you think, Lisa, you could put that on ham? You could put that on pork chops? I would even put it on chopped beefsteak. I might even dip a french fry in it. I'm telling you, it's that good. If you don't believe me, ask Lisa. She's made it. Hey, John and Mama, can you teach us how to make hot water cornbread? I ain't never made hot water cornbread. I have made it before. Um, no, no. It's just a hot water cornbread is just a thing they used back in the Depression. They didn't have much more, but they did have water. And they would have a little bit of cornmeal. And you just keep pouring your hot water in there and stirring it until you get it really thin. And then when you put it in your skillet, usually it'll just bake into a crisp little flat pump. Now, some people... Put a little hot water in their cornbread when they stir it up with buttermilk even. Just, just kind of smooth it out. But typical hot water cornbread is more like almost a... It's just the cornmeal and you just use hot water. Now I've seen Miss Brenda Gant make it uh, and she just goes to her tap, turns it on hot and keeps putting a little in there until she gets it the consistency she likes. And then she also makes a lacy cornbread. Now my granny made lacy cornbread. And that is where you make it thinner, and it, when it spreads out in the pan, it gets little holes all around it, and it kind of resembles a lace doily or something. A little round, crunchy piece of cornbread. Pot water cornbread is good, and I have made it, but um, it's, it, that's basically what it is. It's hot water and cornmeal and stirred up. You can put an egg in it or something like that, but it's basically just a basic corn fritter. Um, the cornbread mama has always made has got um, cornmeal, buttermilk, and um, an egg or not an egg. You can leave it out or put it in either way. Um, a flour. And she it. puts a little flour in it to make it. I rise. always was told if you put a little flour in it, it keeps you from choking. Choking when you're eating milk and bread, and uh -huh. your daddy always there's a piece of cornbread left before he went to bed. He'd eat. Milk and bread. If you don't, about everybody gets choked. That's just a common thing. Those little pieces of cornbread, when you put them in the milk and they come apart in there, they get in your neck and, it, and you, about every time people will get choked on it. Not like dying choked, just like strangled. <laughs> Mama does it every time. You can, with or without flour. Because when we sit down with the cornbread meal, I say, get you a napkin and a paper towel. You know you're going to be choked in 30 seconds. Pull it together over there. Eat here in front of me. Eat here in front of me. Don't <laughs> eat that one right here. And it's not like I said, it's not like it gets hung in your throat. But sometimes it can really take you 
it can really get you. Um, I try not to get choked with it, but even, you know, you have to be careful with it. Uh, but the flower does help. It binds it together a little bit, keeps it from getting in there and just turning back into little granules. It's the sensation of the granules of the cornbread hitting your throat that gets you strangled. That'll go down. <laughs> That'll go down. I thought you know it. Yeah. And you're like, <coughs> People will say, you'll hear them say, I love milk and cornbread, but I get choked every time. My granny always said that. Every time I eat it, I get choked on it. But I love it. I eat it too and I get choked on it. <laughs> and y'all think we're crazy, don't you? But that's a true statement. Why would you eat something that's going to choke you? Well, you know it's that good. <laughs> You're going to Some people eat buttermilk with their cornbread. Now, when I was a kid, we ate it out of glasses. Jelly jar glasses, usually. That's the big jelly jar glass. Way and then Dad started eating it out of a cereal bowl. And so, when I see him do it, I start doing it. So, now when I do it, when I eat milk and cornbread, I usually get a bowl. But for years, we always used a glass. It was just well known. Pour the milk and put the cornbread in it. Or I always put my cornbread in and then pour my milk over it. Another thing my dad always did, and he's got, I do it too, he'd always put a little salt and black pepper on his cornbread. And then pour that milk over it and he would just kind of take it all through it. And it was so good. So, I do the same thing. That's just an old habit. And you see people doing it all the time. Why am I not rolling? What I mean is if I had noticed it not moving. Mama, what's your favorite food? Potatoes, mashed potatoes. Hello from Texas, hey Mary. My favorite dessert is anything chocolate or raspberry. <laughs> My favorite dessert would have to be like raspberry cheesecake yeah. or, but my favorite cake is chocolate layer cake. Chocolate, chocolate icing. And uh, chocolate cake, chocolate icing, and I like a round one, I like it to be layers. And I just want to slice it and eat it. That's one of my favorite birthday cakes. Uh, but I like anything. Y'all know, y'all pointed out before, John, you sure do have a lot of favorites. Well, that's a true statement. Uh, but everything I eat, I'm just delighted with it. Just happy to have it. So, tonight's could be one of my favorites. But meatloaf and mashed potatoes could be my favorite. Pork chops, whatever I'm eating at the moment, it's my favorite. The thing is, Lily, you used to ask for pork, I mean, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and peas. Yes. That's what you wanted when you was little a lot. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite as a kid. You know, if a kid, their favorite's meatloaf, you know they like anything. <laughs> then my, for a while, that grilled pork chops was my favorite. I went to a restaurant, got grilled pork chops, loved them, and from then on, I wanted grilled pork chops. Um, then... I guess right now, my most favorite meal, or the meal I think I like to have, would be a pot roast potatoes and carrots and onions and um, mashed potatoes with brown gravy and onion. All those are good. But then one of my favorite meals is coming up. We've had it since then, but it's the spring, we call it the spring supper. If I say spring supper to mama, she knows what I'm not talking about. It's going to be... Um, Bacon, fried potatoes, wilted lettuce with green onions. And biscuits. And biscuits. And why we ever eat biscuits? Baked beans. Baked beans, fried potatoes, wilted lettuce and onions, and homemade biscuits. That's a, welcome to spring, because that's when your lettuce has come up and your onions have come up, which we'll plant lettuce and onions probably next week. It's that close. It stops raining. It's snowing high. today, and we're going to probably be planting in a week or so. Um, and we're going to plant lettuce and green onions. And we've got a friend, I guarantee you, he planted lettuce and onions last week. He probably did. And, um, because he always has the first, and he usually brings us a little, some of them, a mess of them, as we say. Uh, but we'll start that. You can plant root vegetables early, but now lettuce can handle a little bit of cold weather, and so can onion, green onions. And so that'll be our first crop. 
that we'll get in the ground. We're going to change around a little bit. Mama's raised beds last year. We had them out where we have the porch now. And, you know, the sun moves, and so does the shade. So some of her beds didn't do as good, but and they weren't directly under the tree. But the sun, when it was coming over, it shaded a lot of the sun, so they didn't get enough sun during the day. So we're moving them out in full sun. If we want to control the full sun, we'll cover them. You know, we'll do something different. Uh, but we're going to plant some tomatoes in Mother Earth this year instead of just the raised beds. And we're going to move her beds up to this eastern side of the house so they'll get the morning sun, the midday sun, all the way. And the only sun they won't get full advantage of will be the last drop of the evening and a little bit of western sun. So we're hoping for better results on them. Oh, I hope so. We're trying everything. My uncle used to plant corn on the perimeter of his garden because he said your outside rows always done the best. So he wanted all his rows to be outside rows. So he would go all the way down one side of the garden, all the way across the other. End, and he and always he wanted would shade some of his other some of his other stuff, stuff when he needed shade. Some but he wanted all outside rows of his corn, so he always had an outside row. Good job. Um, but you just have to do a little trick. he had double green thumb. Oh my gosh. His garden, I'm not joking, you know, I'm not just bragging on him. People made a point to drive by his house. His garden was right by the road. And that was on people's route. People would say, I just drive over there just to see those gardens. And they'd take pictures. They would take pictures of his gardens. They would, I mean, he sold stuff out of his gardens. And they weren't huge. They were just beautiful. But he would say, you know, to me, what time did you get up this morning? I'd say, oh, I didn't get up to 8 o'clock. This is years ago. And he would say, why, by 8 o'clock, I had done hold the garden and picked two bushels of beans. And that would be, and the, that truth. Would be the truth. He would be, out the, he would be in the garden way before daylight. And um, he would have all of his work done before 9 o'clock. Anything he'd done after 9 o'clock in the morning was just gravy for the day. He had done put in a day's work. He had done, done everything he really had to do. And if it was a cool day or a, a cloudy day and he wanted to get out there and do a little bit more, that was just extra. But he was always had all of his chores done, all of his animals fed. He's the one that he did his gardens with the, with the mules and an old plow that you pulled behind He'd a mule. Say, you want the come over? When he planted them big old potato patch over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to plant some potatoes in the morning. Mm -hmm. So you get up and go help him plant potatoes in the morning. Always good memories. Mm-mm. Oh, I told you I couldn't eat two. That's a lot of chicken and stuff on that thing. Mama, we all know that you wouldn't eat that if you starved to death. No, I'd eat it. No, you myself. wouldn't. You said, mm -mm, I couldn't eat two. I told you not to do it. <laughs> you think I'd starve to make a point? <laughs> You'd eat a, a Snickers bar and not eat that just so you could say, I told you not to fix me two. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Probably so. I'd eat a Snickers bar. <laughs> Two of those ain't much. All right, folks. We're not going to keep you all night. Sometimes Mama says we talk too much. We do. We, yeah. Oh, Modella is a beer. Okay. What? I didn't know. Let's see. I don't, I don't drink. So I didn't even know what that was. I was like, Modella. Thank you for informing. I didn't know what it was either. I now I'm so. hungry. Now I'm hungry. Your dinner looks yummy. Well, thank you, baby. You can have it in about 10 minutes. It didn't take long. You could use canned chicken. Oh, yeah. Um, but we already had our chicken cooked. It's been cooked for four days because we've had chicken and dumplings with it. We've had the cre uh, crescent roll wraps with it. We had that... Crackers and eggs. Crackers with that. That was the same as the crescent rolls. 
Then we had um, chicken dumplings last night. We did say all kinds of stuff with it. And it was just four breasts to start with. We've made it for about four months. That's big. And we're not cooking like we used to either. That makes... We're not eating as much as we used to either. Yeah, that makes it go a lot further. It makes it go a lot further and it does stretch it out for you. So, mm -hmm. it's a win-win all the way around. Uh -huh. Mommy, you got anything you want to add other than you're just stuffed and you couldn't possibly eat that other little shell? Oh, no. I want to move on to something else. <laughs> it was good, though. Good well, flavor. I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator. It was a heck of flavor, too. I've got a little bit more over here in this skillet. I'll wrap all that up. That'll be a lunch day. Mm. A lunch day. That's right. One thing about it, you don't eat like that with your fried scrambled eggs. Right? No, I won't be eating that probably with fried eggs. I would probably. But... All right, Mama. Let's the, let these folks go. Uh -huh. I've got chores to do. I've been informed that there's an emergency picture hanging in the hallway. Do y'all have those at your house? It needs time before it gets knocked over and broke. Now you're gonna have to get this picture hung to that. Yes, ma'am. I lost the hammer. I'll find you one. I took a whole bunch to the basement or a jungle before. We've got several hammers, but I have a favorite, and I can't find my favorite hammer. Are y'all that way? I have looked everywhere for my favorite hammer. Now it's just one nail. I'm not building a barn. And I'm sure I can I can hang a picture with a shoe. But I wanted my favorite hammer. And what happened was I wanted to use my hammer. It was my daddy's hammer. And I couldn't find it. Well then that worried me so now I'm trying to find that hammer. And I've got that on my mind. But it has been sitting in the hallway for a couple of days now. And it needs to be hung. And it is an emergency. It needs to be done today. You have emergencies. You can't help sometimes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's an emergency left seat moving or an emergency couch moving. Uh, we ain't done that in a while. We did beds. Week before last, I did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> we moved every bed in this house except one. That was two or three weeks. A couple know. months ago. Oh, yeah. Those were emergencies. No, yeah, we didn't move one. I still say we moved them all, but there's one still in there that wasn't moved. I guess I'll have to move it today. No, we ain't moving it. It's, yeah, Granny's old bed. I ain't moving it around much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, we're going to go and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. It's just five, ten years. Got the whole evening to do something. Make some memories. Get out and do something uh, with the family. Uh, it's 41 here. It's a little cold for a picnic or a fire pit even, I guess. The I don't know. Wind gonna... is what's so cold. It's a little cool here. Um, but we'll get some good weather coming next week. It'll probably be in the 80s one day. Oh, one day next week. No, it's 70s high. On my phone, it showed next week. Sometimes our weather gets a little hotter than that phone says. It was going to be, what's it, next Tuesday or Thursday? It's a tea day. <laughs> No. One of them days is I don't watch that far ahead, Mama. I want to know what the weather is today and maybe tomorrow. After that, it's subject to change, so I don't... Oh, it changes. I just look at it yeah, and check it. You can sometimes... You know, see if plan. I want to go outside and do anything or not, plan around it. See if there's an emergency coming up that has to be done before that yeah. weather gets here. Oh, yeah. And those old mean dogs that comes in here... I didn't put that flower pot in the girl in the garbage. I just set it up there in a chair, gonna put it in the garbage. Guess what? All that stuff's back now. She got it right back out. Allegedly. It's back in the yard. Allegedly. Well, it's them old mean dogs. She says it comes from. Abby, don't do that stuff. She tries to clean it up when they come in and make a mess. But Mama thinks she does stuff, and I tell her. It's allegedly she does it because it's not. She don't have any proof. She's a feeling good today. When I went to the mailbox, she run 30 miles backwards and forth around in the yard. Oh, back to me and back she to the porch. 
I said, boy, you're feeling good. <laughs> I have to admit, this morning, when I first went out and she came up the steps to meet me, she may have put on a pound or two. <laughs> when I put on that much weight, she said, God, you think you her weight. Mama, have I ever said you gave me weight? <laughs> now you're lying to these people. <laughs> you are lying. I have never once, <laughs> never. Maybe said, it was me that said it. Uh huh. I have never said, Mama, you put on away. Never. Ever. I do put on away. Have I ever said it? No, you're always good. I start saying, Mama. <laughs> I don't even think Abby's put on that much. She may have that, you know, that fluctuating five going on. Or she might gain a two pounds and lose a pound, gain three, lose one. I'm not going to say nothing negative about her. That she wobbles <laughs> when she wobbles. I hope she never sees this video. Don't show it to her. <laughs> she does. She's she does not waddle. She sachets. <laughs> oh, said a southern term. Sometimes she puts a little work into it. Other times she don't. What you perceive as a waddle is just sass. Oh. Sometimes she got it going on and she's like, watch this. I'm going to walk across this yard. Yeah, and that's just her little sass. Her little sachet to the yard. Mm -hmm. That ain't because she's gaining weight. Oh. If you go out, she thinks she, she should eat. Let's go for some gets her feelings hurt in front of all her friends. <laughs> Mama, she can hear ten times better than we can or a hundred. I hope she can hear better than you. Well, I hope she can hear you right now. <laughs> you hurt her feelings. Oh, I wouldn't tell her for the world hurt her feelings. I go tell her <laughs> You better say you're sorry to her is what you better be saying. I said she was a... Enjoying herself and being happy after a while ago. For somebody who don't care for dogs, and for somebody who don't want dogs, and gripes and complains about stuff, uh, she sure does know every move Abby makes and where she's at, and if she's had a good morning or she's had a good day. Or what. Have you noticed she get a report every day from the one who says, we don't need a dog? We really don't. But you're crazy over <laughs> She's company when you go out there. <laughs> oh, I've got that on recording. <laughs> Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. Bye-bye. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye. See you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.